Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. Uh, I just wanted to let people know uh, I got some more exciting uh, developments and demos to show you in the next two seconds with uh, MATLAB 2013B and the Interactive Brokers uh, a connection from right from within MATLAB. This is really exciting. I'm going to show you two scripts that I wrote or that are part of actually the uh, MATLAB uh, MathWorks uh, downloadable, um, you know, uh, from from uh, the Math MathWorks site. So these source scripts that you can get uh, right off of uh, MathWorks, and I'm just playing with them. I've modified them to, to work with my uh, for my uses. Um, but the key here is what I'm going to show you is that you can do two things uh, here in this this demo. I'm going to show you how to request interactive brokers historical data. And in this script, I'm going to show you how to stream interactive brokers data. Now, what I'm hoping for is that the markets are still open, uh, but my hope is is that if the markets close um, and not, without having the need of IQ feed, I can still do these kind of demos um, with interactive brokers uh, data. And this is just more for uh, playing with and simulation. Uh, I just want to show you uh, in the TWS here, the Trader Workstation, um, that you can see it's a demo system. So that means I freely downloaded this, not even registered myself with Interactive Brokers, and uh, you know you can get access to the TWS no problem and be able to you know tinker around with stuff like this within from MATLAB. So let me show you the first script. Uh, I showed this yesterday. Uh, I've already had one little guy or prick, I guess you could say, who disliked it. I don't know why, but uh, it doesn't really be any benefit to uh, people like you that are maybe interested in this functionality from within um, from within MATLAB. But anyways, um, what we're doing here, actually, let me go back into my workspace. I want to clear out the workspace here. So uh, this is clearing out the workspace of MATLAB. Um, so I got this one script here. So I'm going to run each section segregated by these double um, percent signs. That's how you do that. So I'm just going to run it. Um, oh, yeah. Let me do that again. Okay. That's the uh, wrong button. Okay, so I'm going to run the advance. So what, what happens is it's going to create a, an IB connection um, right here. Uh, and now I'm going to set it up to uh, report back or set up a contract with IBM and uh, the, 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 the stock on the exchange in US dollars. So let me run that section. So that's already been established. So now what I'm doing is setting the date range of five days. Okay, so I'm going to run that section. Now I'm actually going to retrieve the data by running this uh, section here. Now, if I look at D, this is what I'm getting, all the historical uh, prices and whatnot. And again, that is from, as I said, that source code, from MATLAB, is from this uh, example here. So I need to obviously uh, close off the connection to TWS, and that should do it. Um, okay, so... Let me just make sure of that because if it's not properly closed, it messes up the session. Uh, hang on here. All right. So there you go. It's closed off the, uh, for sure, closed off the IB uh, connection to TWS. So let me clear all the data and I'm going to run the second demo. Okay, so you, you, you saw how the you can retrieve historical data. And again, this is against the demo mode of the TWS running, okay? This one's a little different because what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna actually stream the data, and this is very cool, uh, similar to uh, IQ feed. And again, this is all for free. Um, and uh, again, it's against the TWS simulated data from uh, Interactive Brokers data. Now I'm gonna stream it, so no different. We have a empty workspace, yes we do. Okay, let me just run the advanced and then Set up a new connection to TWS. We got it. Uh, creates a new event. Okay. Now this is the big one. What I want you to do is I'm not going to go line by line what each line is, just for highlighting the potential of of using MATLAB to 
you know, tinker around with uh, interactive brokers with TWS. Again, I do not recommend you to actually trade with um, MATLAB directly. Yeah, it can be done, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, we got other solutions and software to get around that. So here, um, I'm only going to look at uh, play, uh, the streaming of IBM and MS. So IBM and Morgan Stanley, this one for F doesn't work for some reason. It's probably the coding or something. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But the two of the three will work. Um, and uh, where are we at? So we already registered. So I'm going to run this section. It's going to set it all up. Okay, there we go. So it's going to set up this, uh, I guess, plot. Um, and uh, it's it's pretty cool, man. I, I do like it. And uh, okay, so we're going to set up our first symbol. Oh, actually, we, I think we, yeah, here. No. Uh, um, I think we are at this section here. Yeah, we messed up for whatever reason. It, it skipped the previous section. So let me just uh, do all this again because I am trying to show you stuff. So I'm going to run it. Let me kill that. Oh, I got to kill the uh, connection as well to interact the brokers or on this. Just for I don't know, problem. Hopefully this will work. So I'm going to run this advance. IB, yep. Ran, set up some events. Get those registered, yes. I'm going to set up that, uh, what you saw before, that plot. Okay, so here's the first, uh, so we're going to set up the first contract here of IBM. This does work. So there you go. So there's IBM. And it's supposed to stream it. Let's see if it does change over time. Yes, we know that. IB contract. And we're gonna I know this one doesn't work properly, the F, the Ford, and the MS. We're gonna do the same thing. So let's see if it runs. And it normally does change. There we go, it's reflecting changes on the bot there you go it's changing the bid and ask right there so this is streaming it right in from within the TWS uh, so this is a very good powerful environment now that's that's the cool part now <laughs> this is where it gets even more exciting so let's say you cannot afford a MATLAB and it's not an option but you really like this functionality where you can maybe develop a little utility like this uh, uh, for you, and it's a, in a self-contained Windows EXE program or application. Um, the good thing is I can still extend this. I, I can turn this little application into a Java jar for Linux and Mac users. I could also uh, possibly, I have to research it more, turn something like this into an Excel add-in. And most exciting is I can also turn this into possibly a uh, some some way of doing an assembly a dotnet assembly so that can be done as well um, and I can set this up in a variety of ways so it can be called from dotnet C sharp specifically obviously and the other thing is I can obviously just create a self-contained program for something like this uh, and that's either one and, and there's gonna be more and more of these type of programs that I can develop as self-contained uh, executables for Windows or if you're Win uh, Java or J um, like a, sorry Linux or Mac I can create um, jar files which can you can then develop into or turn into executable jar files so these are the sort of things that people can look forward to um, and again I'm only going to be providing this for my members is this sort of stuff that brings a lot of value to um, my members and uh, again I'm going to be closing off that's this sort of thing to all the public. I mean, no more public access. The more stuff I add like this, uh, the more valuable the whole membership will be. But I'm just showing everybody the capabilities of what's out there with this new version of MATLAB 2013. Um, but the best part is, is that I can, um, you know, I can now do it directly with uh, interactive brokers through the TWS, which is all free, no registration, and uh, again. I could also do the same thing with uh, with um, IQFeed as well, with the MATLAB. So these are very powerful things. 
that can be done. And I'm really excited to showcase this to people. Talk to you later.